Gallant it stands for Glasgow as a Living Lab, accelerating novel transformation. And what it is, is it's a program that brings together researchers from across all different disciplines with over 29 project partners. So from public sector, private sector, the third sector, and is really looking at breaking barriers across different disciplinary boundaries and, and across sectors as well. The aim of the project is to help accelerate the city's progress towards climate resilience over the next five years and to help meet their net zero emissions target, which is for 2030. Gallant has five work packages that are coming together. The first one's around flood risk and flood adaptation along the Clyde. The second one is around biodiversity and how do we connect up habitats across the city, so connecting up green spaces for insects, birds, small mammals, that type of thing. The third one is looking at vacant and derelict land. How do we regenerate that? How do we regenerate it in a way that we could potentially use it to be sequestering carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and removing pollutants? The fourth one is around active travel. How do we get more people, encourage more people to use active travel and active travel routes? And then the fifth one is looking at community scale energy projects. Researchers across the university are involved in some really big energy projects and technology change, but this is really looking at the community scale. Can we accelerate the transition to zero carbon emissions by having smaller sustainable projects within communities that they can benefit from? One of the sites that we're looking at with Glasgow City Council, where it would be really nice to bring our systems approach, is the Govan graving docks, because Govan is an area that would really benefit from regenerating spaces, bringing in new technologies and, and things like that, and in particular working with the community from the outset to, to envision what they actually want to see come into that space, a place where we can train people with new you know, green skills and, and that sort of thing. When you look across the city, there's a number of areas that have really high multi-deprivation indices, so meaning that life expectancy numbers, um, other sorts of access to healthy food and, and those kinds of things are, are potentially lacking in those areas. So Govan is one of those areas that rates really high in the multi-deprivation index, so it's an area where I think we can have the biggest impact. While Gallant is really looking at making environmental and sustainable solutions within Glasgow, where we really hope that the communities will benefit from what we're doing. The, the other thing that we're doing is actually working internationally with partners. So we're working quite closely with an organization called C40 Cities, and they bring together all of the mega cities across the world. Glasgow's not quite big enough to be a mega city, but because we have progressive ambitions in terms of moving forward, we've become a pilot in their thriving city scheme. And so in terms of beneficiaries, what we want to do is be able to scale up what we're doing here in Glasgow by sharing our tools and our methods and our practices with other cities around the world and really creating a, a partnership and really change people's lives.